Hey, welcome to NBTV, another bite-sized bit to help your business grow. This week coming to you from the Hippodrome Theatre in the heart of Birmingham. I'm coming out this evening with some friends who want to see, yes, Prime Minister. And a um, little message, those of you that remember the TV programme with uh, Jim Hacker and Sir Humphrey Appleby will know exactly what I'm talking about in this episode. If you haven't a clue who those characters are, this will mean nothing to you whatsoever. But I was uh, with a business owner last week and I was chatting to him about the importance of uh, these 90 minute chunks each day to work on your business, not in your business. And do you know what his response to me was? He said, well, I can't find that time. My staff won't let me. Oh, can you imagine that, my staff? I mean, whose business is it? This was the conversation that we had. He was, if you think about it, he was like Jim Hacker. Notionally, he was in charge, he had the responsibility. But actually, in truth, as we all know, it was Sir Humphrey that ran that department. And so it was, in this guy's case, that it's his staff running his business. And that's a really, really bad place to be, because your employees, no matter how good they are, they are still, at the end of the day, employees. You're in charge, it's your business, it's your capital on the line, you're the one that's taking all the risks and you have to be able to control the direction and uh, set the tone and decide how things are done. And, and that's really my little message for this week. Are there, are there any parts of your business where you're being bossed by your staff perhaps? Maybe in some instances people think it's their customers uh, that tell them what they can and cannot do. You have to be in charge of it. Should be. That's my little message for NBTV this week. I'll be back with another bite-sized bit to help your business grow next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.